welcome back to my channel it's london tay coming to you today with another video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to do a deep swoop with a braid in the middle and an invisible ponytail extended ponytail genie ponytail whatever you call it on natural hair and i'm going to start her hair off wash i'm going to go ahead and spray some protective spray on which is basically it's like a reconstructurizer by Apple G. They sell that at your beauty supply store for about $5.99. And it just adds strength to your hair, which is really good before you doing some type of heat or blowout style. It is pretty bomb. So I spray that liberally throughout her hair. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and detangle with a wide tooth comb. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and put some heat protectant spray on. It's a wet spray by Tresemme. They sell it in Walmart for about $4.99 as well. And then I'm going to just go ahead and blow out her hair on medium heat after protecting it with both of the products. And you're just going to go ahead and, you know, blow it out with the powder brush. We're going to prepare our hair for a flat iron. After that, I use the Bio Silk Straightening Serum. This is going to help to get silk out results. Um, and as you can see, I basically flat iron her hair pretty much throughout the whole thing. I did not be detailed with the flat iron. I literally put her hair in about eight sections and flat ironed it like that with the brush. I wasn't specific about it or anything, so don't try to be so... This is not a silk out. This is just trying to get her hair, you know, um, silky a little bit to be a little bit more manageable and silked out throughout the ponytail. You don't have to use heat, but I've noticed that... It's, you just get better results when you flatten her hair first. You know, natural shy away from heat. It's okay to use heat in moderation, just like anything else in life. It's okay to do things in moderation. And once you protect that hair, you'll, you're fine anyway. After that, I'm going to part her hair and then use a Shine Jam product by Ampro. And I just use that to define her part and prepare that part for a little braid that I'm going to do. Once I prepare the part for that, I'm going to do a braid along that part. For these styles, a lot of the styles have baby hairs, so you can ask your client if she wants baby hairs. My client does want baby hairs, so I'm just leaving some hair out for her to get those baby hairs. After that, I'm just gonna braid a little cornrow going halfway back to the middle part of her head and just braid that a little down. That way it does not unravel. Next, I'm going to apply beeswax product on her hair this is just going to go ahead and um, smooth the hair out while the hair is already straight now if the hair was curly I wouldn't suggest applying beeswax I would suggest maybe gel and try to tie her hair down really flat that way it's straight but her hair is straight so I'm just applying the beeswax and make it sticky and get it stuck together and I'm just going to apply that throughout her hair next I'm going to pin off the portion where it's going to swoop to the front and just going to put the rest of the pony hair in the ponytail in the back as again you see i'm just applying the beeswax throughout the hair and get all the hair kind of in formation to each other then i'm going to use about four black rubber bands and i'm going to use that to tie the hair off but before i do that i forgot that i did add some of the shine and jam on top of that beeswax just to give it more more of a um, structured hole and then I apply the rubber bands on to hold the ponytail. After the hair is held by the ponytail holders, rubber bands, or whatever you want to use, I'm going to spray her ponytail with some Ventasia spritz. Then I'm going to use a blow dryer in the, in the rat tail of the rat tail comb, and I'm going to smooth the hair in formation and let it encourage it to dry that way. After that, then I'm going to go ahead and work towards the front. I'm going to just do the same thing I did in the back for the ponytail. Apply the beeswax throughout, smooth it out, and then apply this shine jam on top. And then brush it out. Just kind of use the brush sometimes to smooth it. And the comb to kind of get it throughout, get the product throughout the hair. And please do not rush this process. Um, this part right here, you may have to keep adding product, kind of going back and forth and smoothing and combing throughout. But just 
take your time and make sure it's as smooth as you want it to be. You rush the process and it may not get as smooth as you want it to be. Just make sure you have all the tangles out and everything is in formation. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab two more rubber bands. You're going to add that piece that you just added swooped into the ponytail and then you're going to ponytail all of that together. Once you, pon once you ponytail that together, you're going to get the spritz again and then just spray that on to the hair. After that, you are going to then braid her real hair down. Now, if your client's real hair is not that long, it's pretty short, what you're going to do is you're just going to use some braiding hair and add the braiding hair to the desired length that you want. But her hair is pretty long, so I just get to use her hair and braid it all the way down. Then I'm going to tie the end with a black rubber band. Braid the braid secure. Make sure it's not loose because you're going to be pinning things to that braid. So you want it pretty stable. All right, after you braid everything, you're going to use the open hair pins. Do not use bobby pins. Use hair pins, which is the open type of pin. What you're going to do is, the track is double wefted right now. It is one bottle of the Unice hair in 20 inches. I think yeah 20 inches or 18 so you're gonna start with the ends and then you're going to pin the end of the track inside so if you pin it directly horizontal and don't pin it in pin it down and then you wrap you wrap a few times and then you add another pin sometimes I pin to the front and sometimes I pin to the back and just keep wrapping 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 until you get all the way to the end and all the way to the top once you get to the top you're gonna wrap kind of tight and use one end piece of the track and then you're going to wrap that around itself to hide the track but as you can see i'm just adding more pins at the root for security but make sure you're not really pinning it through her real hair because you know hair pins really hurt so and as you can see i'm spraying some spritz on in on the end and then you're just wrapping it around itself so it can have a sleek result. This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. And I hope you like the end results. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And do not forget to subscribe for more hair videos. Love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Mwah.